What's going on YouTube? Plugged in Shops coming at you. Thank you as always for stopping by. As you guys can already tell, I do have a handful of boxes here that I picked up recently and it's not um, the hype box or the mystery pairs that I've been doing. Um, these are some personal cops that I was able to pick up and I got it here, share with you guys, unbox it with you and you can go through some of the things that I know that's inside. Um, there are three boxes. I don't know exactly which one is in which, but let's get it. Okay, so the first one is a Nike box. This one came from Sneakers. Um, I don't know which one it is, so let's go. Ah, okay, so if you guys haven't seen this box already, it is an all white Nike box. Let's get it out. So here we go, hope you can focus. We've got the all white Nike box and right on the side it does say acronym. So this one is the Air Vapor Max FK Mach 2 acronym. So let's take a look. So getting the Vapor Max uh, acronym collab in hand, it's very light. Um, it's got the fly knit material. If you guys are familiar with acronym, you know they've been pretty popular recently. They've been making a lot of collabs with Nike. I think the first one was the Presto and then even the Presto they had like two or three different colorways. Really hyped, really valuable. Those are going for still crazy amount. I think they're like in like the seven to nine hundred dollar range. Um, this one is the new Vapor Max um, silhouette. So you got all the air bubbles on the bottom. I know this company is out of Munich and acronym. I think they focus on like monochromatic patterns. Uh, not a lot of badging. The acronym is really small on the back heel. Uh, there's a small badge right there on the inner heel and then on the outer side of the shoe. But overall, I mean, it's just got a lot of the design, color, simple but pretty loud. Um, I'm really happy with this shoe. It looks pretty cool. Um, I haven't actually tried on Vapor Max yet, so I'll let you guys know how it feels if you guys aren't familiar with this. But yeah, first one out of the box, we got the Vapor Max uh, acronym. Mach 2 and yeah not a bad one not a bad one I was able to get this off of sneakers app uh, got up still available got in line and was able to cash out so anytime you can get a shoe off of a sneakers app or at retail it's a it's a win regardless to what it is that's a good win so yep first one acronym not bad so since we got the acronym out I know already which what this one is but here we go I got another Nike tape box. So let's go ahead and get this one open. Okay. So the next one out is a Jordan box. It's the current black box with the gold jump man. And here we go. Got the Air Jordan 11 Retro Low. So this is a more recent one. I'm sure you guys are familiar with this already. A um, little bit late in opening up, but let's get it. So we do have the cool gray 11 lows. Um, yeah, Icy Soul carbon fiber on the bottom. I'm sure, you know, I'm a little bit late in, in uploading this video, so I'm sure you guys have already seen this, if not already have it in hand. Uh, truth be told, you know, Jordan 1s and Jordan 11s are probably everyone's favorite shoe. Uh, I'm a big fan of the 11s as well. But whereas everybody is really, everyone's favorite one is usually like Concords or even, you know, Space Jams, of course. Uh, my favorite has always been the Cool Gray. Uh, I think it's a nice, change and to be honest for me concord you know with the toe box and the upper so much contrast i really wasn't a big fan i i'm still not a big fan of concords but i'm just being honest but the cool grays you know these ones i feel are a lot more like versatile you can match it a lot better and I heard that the story behind this was that it was actually a special golf shoe that was made for Michael Jordan and you know with all these retros coming out they decided to make it for the public so you know this is a pretty easy cop I know they made a whole bunch I know I think some guys were saying they were sitting in the stores I was able to get it from sneakers so you know free shipping and retail I'm super happy with that getting them in hand I'm very pleased with it the material is pretty good I mean you know the icy sole is always a plus Got the 23 on the back with the small jump man. I mean, not much to say about this shoe. You guys have seen lows. You guys are familiar with the 11, so won't spend too much time. I just wanted to share with you guys my 
favorite 11 is the cool grays so really happy they came in the low uh, can't wait to get these on feet so yeah second one out the box is the jordan 11 low cool gray all right this one was actually a mistake uh funny story real quick uh let me get the box open and i'll show you okay so you guys can probably already tell by the box you guys know what it is it is an adidas box and this pair came from goat and it is the ultra boost undefeated let's take a look coming from goat you know it's verified got the goat tag right here here we go undefeated ultra boost this one should take both out so you guys can see um, again I'm sure and this has been out for a while now so I'm sure you guys have seen this already if if you don't already own it, it does have the undefeated tally marks on here with the adidas on this side you guys can see it does say the undefeated across the shoe white sole continental black and white with the extra undefeated laces uh so real quick funny story about this one so actually i really wanted this one i've been a fan of undefeated for a while if you guys have been following me for a while you guys know that i live in hawaii and we've never had an undefeated store um, i used to take trips to the west coast all the time and every single time i went there i would always go to the undefeated store because at that time there was no opportunity and no venues to get it locally where i lived so i've been a big fan of undefeated for a long time so when i heard that these were coming out i really wanted to get them a lot of people saying 2018 you know boost is dying but i'm a big fan of these so i was i'm happy to have them however i tried to get these on the drop date and i failed and i was really disappointed so i immediately i jumped on the goat and i was looking at the prices and i was like oh it's pretty not bad but i was kind of discouraged that i wasn't able to get it on the drop date so i put in an offer and it was pretty a low offer um but I thought, you know, let's just go with it. And then I kind of actually forgot about it. Fast forward a few days later, I got, you know, a couple of uh, notifications from Goat saying that I wasn't the top offer and, and I was okay with that. And then lo and behold, a couple of days later again, I got a notification saying that my, my bid was accepted and I had totally forgotten about it. I never canceled it. So on one half, I am happy to get these shoes, but on the other half, it's kind of a fluke on how I did. So I know this is an unboxing video, but I just wanted to share with you guys, um, if you guys are new or not too familiar with GOAT, there is an option to put an offer for shoes. Now, if you change your mind about it or whatnot, and you don't cancel it, it's still gonna stay there. So you guys need to make sure that if you guys you know, change your mind or you don't want the shoe anymore, go back and go through your account and cancel that offer because otherwise, like this, someone's gonna accept it and then the money's just gonna come right out. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, mixed feelings about this um, because I probably could have gotten it for a little bit less. Once I had waited and I saw that they were dropping, uh, some people were, you know, letting them go locally and I probably could have got a better deal. Um, you know, you win some, you lose some, you know. It's really, it's, it's, a, it's a gamble and it's a hunt and it's a game and that's what we love, you know. So, yeah, that's just my little two cents about GOAT um, or just these apps in general. You know, just be careful and know what you want and don't forget your offers so yeah today guys i just wanted to you know show you shoes that i picked up but uh yeah aside from you know loving the whole hype box and mystery pair aspects once in a while you know there are shoes that i know that i want to get so hence today's video so i hope you guys enjoyed that it's just quick unboxing um, thank you everybody for all your support and love and stay tuned I'll be back with something else and something new and I'll be uploading as soon as I can so stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys soon see you then